call two and nine here. It's almost six o'clock. Legal shooting light six twenty four. I just pulled into the spot, and there were five deer right down the road here, just grazing in this yard. So that's not a good sign. That means doe groups have already moved past the tree stand at this point because they're in the, going in the opposite direction. I know what field they're going into, and I don't have permission to hunt that field. But that's the bad thing about this spot. These deer aren't going to think I'm going to be here today. And this is my poking prodding technique. And the reason why I say that is because the wind's a little weird. But I just want to go in here and look. I want to look for this buck. I want to see where he's at. I'm going to play the wind all day today. I have to. I have no choice. So I'm going to get suited up. And hopefully the next time we'll be on a deer. But looking at this juncture where we're at seeing all those deer hopefully that's not the last group and if it is it's going to be a short sit because i'm not going to be out here all day so here i go If you made it to this part of the video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell for more notifications, and if you want to get in-depth, channel membership is available. So to sum this video up, I'll give you a couple of things here. Um, that's the difference between immature deer and mature deer. 
Uh, you can hear me on the video say I think that's a buck fawn or some kind of button buck. Here's the picture. It was. So where they're coming out at there and where the wind was blowing, that's the big difference. If that was one of those big nanny does that are stomping and always puffing away or even a really mature buck or, you know, a two and a half, three year old buck, they might have figured it out. Now, was my scent really good because they were downwind of me? Possibly. But I'll hedge my bet that those were just really young deer and they don't understand predators also hang out in trees. So, uh, that's that. The second thing uh, I'll run by you is why that stand location is uh, the way it is and why I hunt it the way it is. The south southwest wind is not going to do me any good. My scent will drag out into my plot and then the fields and down that trail or down the other way. Uh, and that's where these deer are coming from, especially in the morning. They'll travel through at night and then travel back during the morning. Uh, so it's very risky uh, on this hunt. Very, very risky. Uh, but I wanted, I got buck fever and, you know, I wanted to see what was on the trail cam after I left. And this is all I got was a deer behind the tree. It looks like a good sized deer, but we'll never know if it was a big nanny doe or a buck. Usually you can kind of see the antlers there, but it's pretty hidden. And that camera doesn't take the greatest photos at night. So uh, those are two things to keep in mind. Hopefully with this new cold front that has started right now, uh, the wind will taper off. I mean, it was blowing 16 to 25 miles an hour today out of the north northwest. That's a tough hunt uh, in that spot. Uh, if I had hunting spot number, number two, you guys know I sit in a blind, so I wouldn't be worried one bit uh, with all that wind. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have that spot anymore, so it is what it is. But hunting that tree stand, it's a little bit riskier uh, when it's not just a straight north wind. Um, where those deer are traveling at behind me, that would be the only concern. But if you see where these deer are traveling, they're taking the most convenient path to get to where they have to go uh, on their next little journey. Um, and I haven't seen any deer come from behind me like that in uh, this in this portion of, of hunting season at this point so not saying it's not gonna happen more than likely it could happen uh, but if they take that trail where I come in and exit at there's human scent all around there uh, 25 30 30 yards behind me uh, are people so that won't be so suspicious but if my scent travels out into the middle of some field where there's normally no people that that'll cause a problem so i'll leave you guys with that did i think about shooting that buck fawn yes uh especially if if that wasn't a, a buck fawn and it was just a yearling doe i would have shot it uh just to just to put another one in the freezer uh and then really focus on bucks um, I did make a couple of more mock scrapes back in some uh, some areas where I don't enter and exit. Hopefully that will keep those bucks going down that trail, which lead into another mock scrape that I made by the tree stand, which then they run into, hopefully, uh, me. So I, I did a little bit of configuration down there. Uh, the rut's coming up. Uh, I've, I've heard deer chasing. Uh, I've heard some clanking of, of antlers here recently. We're not fully there yet. Um, hopefully bucks will start to show up. Um, that's my biggest fear. Uh, EHD is still going on at this point. Uh, it's more in the in the southern portion of, of my state of uh, Indiana uh, now than it where it was say a month and a half, two months ago. That was totally uh, the biggest devastation of deer I've seen for quite some time in my area. Again, I don't know what you're hunting and, and how that goes on, but in my area, it's devastating, devastating. Even, I even see some people on groups, I'm a part of other social media, you know, asking, you know, where do I go, you know, 60 miles from where I live to go hunt because there's just all the deer have passed away and they're gone. So uh, hopefully that gives you a little bit of entertainment. Yeah, I know it wasn't the big guy, again, 
I'm going to still look for them. We have this cold front right now. This is the best time to do it. Uh, get out there in the stand. Check that win. Uh, of course, I do use scent control too. I'm not uh, opposed to it. Uh, but I think playing the playing the wind is a lot more beneficial all because how I shot the bean field buck. He was upwind of me, never knew I was there, didn't have to worry about scent control. So that's why I play the wind. I'd like to thank my old and my new subscribers and just the people that slipped through. I greatly appreciate it. Like always, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.